Coming up later in the show, Dennis Quaid creates a maze of alternative futures in frequency. Something we did changed the past. And coming up next, the Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, before they were a family. Ah, uh, now that's a dumb idea. Who's gonna pay to see dinosaurs? See, I got dinosaurs in my backyard. <laughs> The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas takes us back to the days when Fred and Wilma Flintstone first met and fall in love. And in that scene, we saw them doing a double date with Barney Rubble and his new friend Betty. Both Rock Vegas and a prehistoric theme park named Sage Park are excuses for many jokes which all have the same tired theme. Life was the same then as it is now, except then everything was made out of rocks and there were a lot of dinosaurs. <laughs> That's Mark Addy as Fred and Kristen Johnston as Wilma. The movie's villain is Chip Rockefeller. Get it? He's played by Thomas Gibson as a rich guy who's gone broke and wants to marry Wilma for her fortune. He wants all of his money by midnight Sunday, or he starts taking your casinos. And breaking your life. This is a moot discussion, gentlemen, because by Sunday evening, I shall be married to Wilma Slaghoople and one of the greatest personal fortunes in the uncivilized world. You better be. Or you'll be sleeping with the Tunasauruses. If you don't count the endless and merciless puns, and I don't, the Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas is essentially a one-joke movie, and that joke is that things that should not be made out of rocks are made out of rocks. I don't know if I really understand why the movie has to be live action, for that matter, as a cartoon it would be freed of its cumbersome and ungainly sets and special effects and have the freedom of animation, like the cartoon did. The first Flintstones movie was no masterpiece, but it was compared to this. Why did we need this movie? We didn't. We didn't. I actually liked the first movie. I thought it was pretty funny, but this was so dull. I actually had a hard time staying awake, and I knew I was in trouble from the opening scene, one of the opening scenes, which began with a joke <laughs> about dinosaur flatulence and went down from there. When we ended up with Barney and Fred in drag, I just about had it. And everything was second rate. I mean, Joan Collins was no Elizabeth Taylor. Mark Addy was not John Goodman. Where were they? The whole thing, it just didn't work. Yeah, this is the, the road audience? company. This is the road, this is the provincial production of this movie. It's hit and rock it's just, bottom. Everything is say. just two stages down from the other one, which wasn't that great either. It I didn't like the great. first one that much, but this one is really a zero zone. We have hit bedrock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, Coming up, <laughs> Dennis Quaid.